screen. Popping. Yes, it is. Popping. Yes, mm. it's popping. Hi, good people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, the African Tigress. Greetings from Uganda, Kampala. So today I met this super amazing lady and for the first time in my life I'm going to have a professional makeup. Oh my yes. goodness, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the end results. So like, yes. Basically this is my real first so <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing on the face right now. So yeah. she's going to give me a, a very nice first bit. Her name is I'm Ray Kembabazi. I'm a YouTuber and a makeup artist and today we are going to snatch at this face. Exactly, that's what you are going to do. You look amazing. Thank you. Uh, I hope I look as good as that. Yes, you're going to. So, so she's a YouTuber and she's a professional makeup artist. Yes. Make sure you follow her channel, yes. Ray Kembavas. I see yes. it right there. Yeah? Yes, Ray Kembavas. Right, yeah. So make sure you follow her YouTube channel and let's start this. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so to begin with, we are going to do her brows first. I'm going to start by brushing through them. I'm using a small brush and then I'm going to take a brown pencil I believe you can see this uh, this is a normal brown pencil and I will start to shade lightly in her eyebrows so this is the first step normally majority of people just like by starting to do their brows which is also my preference as well because you can take your time and do your brows really nice and if the brows are good the brows are like really key and very basic so they have to be really nice nicely done drawing her brows so next we are going to conceal the brows I have a black radiance concealer I think you can see this and then I also have a flat brush and when you're using concealer you also have to use a color that is slightly lighter than my complexion? Yes, than the complexion, especially when you're concealing the eyebrows, especially in the lower parts. Uh -huh. I like to use a concealer that is slightly lighter and someone's skin color. And then on the upper part of the eyebrow, I like to use a foundation that is exactly your skin color. Because sometimes when people use concealer up here, it leaves like very white lines. Oh. Yeah, whereas if you use a very light concealer on the lower part of the brow, you can still blend it because you're going to put eyeshadow anyway. So oh. you can just play around with it, yeah. So Good I'm, tip. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take the concealer actually, the same concealer, and cover the entire lid. And then I'm going to set it with a powder or an eyeshadow. And this concealer is going to give us a base for the eyeshadow. So I'm taking this black opal foundation, I'm just taking a small drop on my brush. And I'm going to conceal the upper part of her brow. We've done one eyebrow off camera, so we both have our brows done. And I've also added concealer on this other eyebrow off camera. So right now we are going to set the concealer. I have a brush. I'm going to take a loose powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. The shade is medium deep. I'm just going to take a bit on on my brush and just set the powder sorry set the concealer so this is going to create a matte base for my eyeshadow so next we are moving on to eyeshadow I'm going to take this Morphe palette by Jacqueline Hill so I want to do kind of a smoky brown smoky eye oh. I'm going to take yeah so I'm going to first take another color light right here that is kind of a nude and apply it all over her eyes again so when the base is nice the shadows just lay very nicely as well 
So to begin with, I'm going to take this uh, very dark brown color right here and I'm going to start applying it on the base of her eyelid. Next, I'm going to take uh, this color, it's still a brown color and I'll apply it on top of the first dark brown color and I'm taking this on a very clean brush <coughs> I'm going to take uh, this maroon color and a clean brush I'm going to layer it on top of all the colors this will just bring a very nice warmth to the crease I'm just going to take a clean brush and blend to remove any harshness around the eye shadow. Next, I'm going to take an eyeliner pencil and line her eyes. Next, we are going to apply some falsies. I'm using the cream lashes. I've already applied some glue on the lash, so I'm just going to stick it on her eyes. close my eyes? Yes, please. How do people survive with this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think eyelashes are like very lovely. I love lashes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they look really nice. So, yeah. So let's move on to the skin. I'm going to start by applying a primer. Mm -hmm. The primer I use is the Stay Matte Stay Arimo London Primer. So this one, if you have like oily skin or you over sweat, this primer is like just the best. My finger, some people like to use a brush to apply the primer, but I like to use my finger and just apply this all over the face. So the importance of the primer is to protect the skin against the direct effect of the foundation and it also provides a very nice base before you apply the foundation on the skin. So that's why it's very important to wear a primer before applying foundation. I'm taking a black opal foundation. It's liquid. Uh, this shade is um, do I even know? this shade is black walnut. <laughs> That's the name of the shade. So I'm going to apply this all over her face. So I'll just dip into here. We're going to apply this all over her face. I'm taking a sponge, a beauty blender, and this I'm using it to make sure that the foundation gets evenly into her skin. Taking it's my Ray Ray palette and uh, there is a highlight here, it's called Moonlight. So I'm going to apply this on her nose. I'm going to take this light red color here and I'm going to use it as a blush on her cheeks. I'm going to take this dark brown color here to finish off her lower eye makeup.
moving on to lipstick we are going to take a mac liquid matte lipstick the color feels so grand and then i'm going to take a purple lip liner and we are going to line her lips first so i'm taking some lipstick on a lip brush i'm going to start by applying this on her lips This. Guys, this is the final look. How do you like yes. it? It's really nice. I love the smoky eye. I love the red lipstick. So this is a smoky eye. We use the Jaclyn Hill palette by Murphy and the red lipstick. I just darkened it a bit with a purple lip liner, a purple pencil. So I also did for her some lashes that look really natural. So and she really loves them because they feel so light and yeah. not very plastic. Initially when we put them, I was I felt like it was a curtain, but mm -hmm. right now I feel like I don't even feel like I have them on. Yeah, so I love the look as well. I think it's really nice, perfect for a chocolate skin. So yeah, love it. Thank you so much. How often do you do this? Like your professional makeup, you yes. do events makeup. Tell yes. us what kind of makeup you do. So I do all types of makeup, especially bridal, a casual face beat, beauty. It's I do beauty makeup, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's my niche. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you, I'll need to look for some someone, and then I'll come. You do my makeup for Kuchala. Yes, <laughs> get the hubby. <laughs> I know Kuchala because man. someone mentioned it. I'm looking for what. <laughs> yes, yes, gladly. I'm here. I'm already. <laughs> so for so she can do your makeup for Kuchala. If you know what yes. Kuchala, it's Kuchala. Kuchala. Uh, uh, like if you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's not Kwanzula. Kuchala, the first visit. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, so she yes. can do your makeup for Kuchala. Kuchala and introduction and the wedding, everything. Kwanzula, everything. Yes, if yes. you want some nice first beat. Yeah, this is really I can't nice. I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> I can't stop yeah. looking at myself. I so being your first experience and you know when your first experience is good then you actually love makeup. And some people never like their first experience, so they don't think that all makeup doesn't turn out nicely. So when your first experience is good then yeah, you just keep doing it. You need to give me some tutorials for some like really brief makeup, something that I can do daily, like mm -hmm. something quick and fast, mm -hmm. especially drawing the eyebrows. Yes, I'm always drawing neighbors, <laughs> not even cousins or sisters. <laughs> I draw neighbors, you know. So, I always tell people it's all about practice. The more you practice your eyebrow, the more you become so good at it. And it's very easy if you just set out to do it every morning, like 10 minutes every morning, you know. One week, two weeks, three weeks, you'll be surprised by how good your eyebrow is. So it's all about practice. Watch a tutorial, practice. Watch a tutorial, practice. Makeup is all about practice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making a fool of myself. <laughs> I, can't help, I can't help staring, staring at myself. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. My Her name pleasure. is Ray Kembavazi. Yes, I'm see, Ray Kembavazi. I can, I can pronounce that Uganda yes, name very yes, well. Exactly. Her name is Ray Kembavazi. We her and bring her here. <laughs> so, um, her name is Ray Kembevazi. She is a YouTuber and a professional makeup artist. Yes. So you can follow her channel in case yes. you're in Uganda. You Link want some below in the description. Yes, yes. And her comments is gonna be pinned. Yes. So you can follow her channel to know how to do your mm -hmm. face, like in case you want such a beautiful look yes. or any other look. She does different kinds of looks, so mm -hmm. you should be able to get some advice on her channel. Yes. Thank you so much, Ray. My pleasure. Thank you for coming and thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be on your channel. Thank you so much. It's an honor. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, bye bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys. I love you all. Bye bye. <laughs>